Hey everyone, Hybrid Toy Reviews here, wanting to take a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Bracca Cad Bane from The Bad Batch. It's a super cool looking Amazon exclusive Black Series figure. I'm glad to finally have another Bad Batch figure in my hands. Let's go ahead and get into it. Take a look at him and see if he's one that's worth picking up. Alright, you guys know how we work around here. We start by taking a look at the packaging. It's your standard Galaxy Line Black Series packaging. You got your Black Series logo up top, above a big window showing Bane and his accessories off nicely. Star Wars The Bad Batch in red, Cad Bane Bracca in red, warning 4 plus Hasbro. Some cool artwork of Bane on the side of the box. This side of the box features wraparound window, wraparound red stripe, and a Black Series logo. Around back features a zoomed in look at the Cad Bane artwork, a Black Series logo, and a bio about Bane in varying languages. Pause and read whichever language applies best to you. Below that you see he's number 12 in the Bad Batch lineup. You get a bunch of legal stuff, Disney, Hasbro, barcode, more legal stuff. The top of the box features a hanging tab and a little window that allows a little bit of light in the box. It really makes the figures stand out if you keep them in package. I'm not a loser though, I open my toys. So let's go ahead and do that and take a look at what we're getting here. So, here's Bane out of the box on the table with all the accessories out, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. He comes with some reuse, being his two pistols, looking very nice though. A lot of brown and black accent over a ton of just very, very shiny silver paint. I actually really do like how this paint turned out. It's very reflective. It'd be a good choice of paint for a figure like a Captain Phasma, where they're not going to vac metal, but... There's just so much shine to it that it wouldn't need to be, but it looks really good. He features some cool working holsters that, if you actually put them in correctly, hold the blasters very well. Be nice if it focused, too. There we go. So, good working holsters. He also features his signature hat. Now this is a new sculpt, this is not the original hat, to bring that one in for comparison. It's a very similar style, but the original hat had a much wider, floppier brim. He ended up going for a smaller, more manageable hat later on in the show, pretty much in the Season 4 Morallo Evol arc. So, it's a very good looking hat, fits on his head nicely. It's a pretty secure fit. It comes off easy, but like as you see, it's not like so easy you would lose it. So, pretty happy with that. So let's pop that off for a second and take a look at the head here. So it's a very good Cad Bane likeness, at least for a live action version of the animated version. They've made him look as good as they could without him being overly cartoony. Very nice blue color for the skin. The red eyes just peering out. He's squinted. He's ready to quick draw on Hunter. And he just looks very good. One of the things that I like is that they did do some sculpt work for that plate that he has on his head. Although it's only very slightly a different shade than the rest of the skull cap. So, I'm guessing that the Boba vs. Cad Bane standoff, which was only shown in the storyboard version, is still canon. They're just refusing to finish the animation and put it out, even though that'd be, like, a great thing to cut into, like, an hour-long Disney Plus exclusive Clone Wars movie, but what would I know? Um, it is a new face sculpt compared to the original Bane. Here he's closed-mouthed and very squinted, whereas this Bane... His very open eyes and a little bit of a grimace. So, actually, if we set the figures back, I would just like to point out, obviously it's the original Bane on the right, there's not much reuse at all between these two. Actually, I sat down and I looked over basically everything, and the only thing I can find that's reused is from the elbows through the hands. The upper biceps are new, the torso is new, the lower abdomen, the legs are new. I think I'd seen something where someone said that these hose attachments off the back of the head sculpt are new. Or not new, um, that they're reuse, and they very well could be. But, I mean, that's very minuscule reuse for a, you know, a returning character like Bane. Especially a returning character... That's a store-exclusive figure. Usually they try to do as much reuse as possible. So basically, 
gloves, hands, and guns, and everything else is completely new. So I gotta credit it here. So let's just look at that face some more. But working down the body, he has a lot of silver armor plating going on. It's very accurate, his appearance in the Bad Batch. Looking really cool. He has a uh, big silver chest plate over a brown shirt. He's got the kind of like gray pants going on and underneath. With the green knee-high boots, he's got some new thrusters on the sides of the boots. That's pretty cool. Um, round back, not much going on armor plating wise. So if you got him in the back, you'd be doing pretty good. It does show some really nice looking butterfly joints that we might want to take a look at here. So let's run through some articulation. He features that double ball system neck, allowing him to look that high up. Although it goes way further down. And then of course you can rotate, get all the pivot you could want. His arms come up, the shoulder pads are rubbery, but they do get out of the way. He basically can T-pose, and he's some really wide butterfly joints. 360 at the shoulder, single jointed elbows that can come up to 90 and rotate at the elbow. He features 360 wrists, both of which hinge up and down, that's cool. He features a mid-torso ball joint, allowing him to crunch a little bit forward, a little bit back, and you get some side-to-side -side in rotation. The legs can kick pretty far out, they can go pretty far all the way forward, back a little bit. He has a top of the boot rotation, single jointed knees can go past 90 and rotate. Looks like he has a boot rotation, but I can't get it to turn and I'm not going to force that. No, this one does, so yeah, this leg's stuck on me. Let's see, do I break him on camera or do I free it on camera? You know, I think I'm going to break it on camera. That's something to put under some water. But yeah, boot rotation. Feet can point straight down. Pretty far forward. There's a forward-facing pin for rocker, allowing you to get some decently wide stances with both feet flat on the ground. To stand him up and put his hat back on, let's do a couple of size comparisons. So here is Bane next to Bane. Stand up. There you see they're the same height which is good, that's how you'd like him to be. Here's Bane, next to a Jetta Patrol Trooper for just a standard six inch idea. Here's Bane next to Hunter. Hunter stands a little bit taller, but he's wearing bulky armor, so I'll forgive it. I believe they're supposed to be pretty similar in size. And then here is the Book of Boba, Boba Fett. So as you see, Bane seems to fit pretty well in scale. I do like how he looks. All in all, in all I'm thinking some pretty good thoughts here. So, end of the day, what do I think of the new Cad Bane? Honestly, I really like it. It's a pretty good, you know, redo. I mean, it's not his most iconic outfit. Obviously, the most iconic outfit is that early in the Clone Wars Bane. But... You know, it's a pretty good appearance. I'm guessing, since they decided to redesign him and give him a new model for the Bad Batch, that we're probably going to see him going forward. So this figure's probably not one to pass on. I'd say probably get him in your collection sooner versus later. The original Bane has gotten a little expensive on the secondary market, and uh, I can only assume that this one will probably follow that trend once he's no longer available. Technically, if you go on Amazon, he's probably not in stock right this second, but he's coming in and out now as they fulfill pre-orders. So keep an eye on Amazon and pick him up. I'd say he's a pretty solid addition to the collection. Anyway, that's what I gotta say. He's a good figure. Thanks for checking the video out. It means a lot that you did. If you enjoyed, you should leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that end of video stuff. You guys know how it goes. I'm gonna go get to work on some other videos now. Thanks a lot again for watching, and until next time, may the Force be with each and every one of you. Bye!